<laughs> yeah. This is just you and me, Seth, right? Yeah, it's just us. Should sure. I close for this? You can stay up if you want. You're yeah, I was just going to stay, yeah. Yeah. You can make comments, just general comments. Yeah. I'll just I'll just heckle you guys. <laughs> no, you suck. Oh, I actually do that anyway, so... Little Fish, a couple fights to hold their relationship together as a memory loss virus spreads and threatens to erase the history of their love and courtship. I'll be honest, I was not excited about this movie. I did not think I would like it. I really liked this movie. It was so well done. The acting was incredible. And the story is great. I I don't want to say I loved it because it's it's a crazy story. It's not crazy, but it's it's heart wrenching. But it's 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 so good. So, I how it. did they remove the virus? Did they get some like antivirus software for the computer? Yeah, they yeah, got, actually uh, used Norton. Yeah, Norton. Weirdly yeah. enough. <laughs> okay, good. Which is what yeah. I'm about to use on your ass. <laughs> um, no, I loved this movie. This is uh, one of my favorites of the year. <laughs> It's my second favorite to Barb and Star. Um, <laughs> no, this movie's great. Uh, so, oh God, I'm going to hate myself for this. Let me look at her name real quickly. Olivia Cook. She's so good in this. She was in Sound of Metal last year. She's so good in that. She was in Thoroughbreds with uh, Chris's love interest, Anya Taylor-Joy. And it was great in that also. And I just, I'm so into what she's doing recently. She's incredible in this she's movie. amazing yeah um i don't know i just i really dug it it's different it's really well shot um some of the imagery they use that's represent representative of their relationship i found fascinating hence the title of the movie um the little kind of things they do um aren't as traditional in other like romantic movies that you see like there's no like the smallest gesture in this movie would be a grand gesture in another movie, but it's so small, but it's perfect for their relationship. I love that. Um, this movie's brutal also. Uh, so it takes place in 2021, in the fall of 2021. This movie was made in 2019 before COVID, but it's about a virus that's going around that basically causes like a form of Alzheimer's basically. What did they call it? Was it I N I A N I A N W A? By the way, whoever made this movie, they must have a freaking crystal ball because like they nailed everything about the pandemic. It was it was crazy how much they what nailed. timing, by the way, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I was thinking this and I don't know if you'll agree with me. To me, it kind of reminds me of spontaneous, but like a lot more serious dark and, as fuck. and dark, but very dark. But do you know what I mean? It's it's science fiction, but there's also a lot of romance. Yeah. Like a love story behind it. It but is it's like a more serious kind of next level of spontaneous. It's Fifty Shades. No, excuse me. It's not. It no. is. No, it's not. First dates mixed with eternal sunshine and spotless mind. That's a good way to describe it. That's Make quite it. Uh, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be one of these movies, but the ending is. It, it it's comes so out of good. nowhere. It comes out of nowhere. Oh my you will God. not see it coming. We were both like, what <laughs> but it's one of those when you see the ending all the pieces like click and you're yeah. you're going oh my gosh everything makes sense it's crazy good and we watch a ridiculous amount of movies so like that doesn't really happen that often mm -hmm. uh unless we're being sarcastic when we like we'll say during the movie this one both of us are like you you're kidding me <laughs> they, they got us which is nice and i like movies that do that because it doesn't happen very often also, I feel like I'm not giving enough credit to Jack O'Connell because he's great in this. He was in that uh, Angelina Jolie movie a couple years ago, uh, Un Unbroken, Unbreakable, something like that. It was fine. He was good in it. But yeah, he's pretty strong in this as well. And they're very believable as a couple. Uh, their chemistry is great. I, there's a scene where they're at uh, some club and I, it's so cute. I love it. And then it, it's cute, but it's also like dark and it deals with a lot of heavier themes. I also liked the uh, support, I, I guess, supporting actress, her friend, 
their mm-hmm. friends, whatever. And uh, the scene with her friend and her husband, I thought yeah. that was some really good acting. Yeah. From, I, I don't know the actress's name, but that was... Soko. Yeah, that was some in, that was an intense scene. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was. Some of it, yeah. like, I... Like it's not going to be the easiest watch, I feel like, but it's also may not, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's the hardest watch either. No, um, it's not a hard watch, but what it does is you'll be, you'll be, you'll kind of let your guard down and then it'll, it'll stab you in the heart with the <laughs> smallest little quote or action and it'll just rip your soul out. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's not a hard watch. It just like cuts up your arteries. <laughs> it, just, yeah. it just rips out your soul. It's, but it's fun. Quoting it's, Logan, yeah, it's not a hard watch, but it <laughs> rips out your soul. Yeah, that's how I would describe this movie. Um, I like that. It's, well, if I, I had one, it would rip it out if I had one. Yeah, right. that's true. Yeah. Um, but it like forgoes all like the genre trappings like that you would find in this, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of more muted, I guess, than movies of its type. Like recently, a pandemic movie we saw was Songbird and lockdown and stuff and those are a lot more over the top than this uh there are i mean there are scenes where there's a little bit of chaos because it is a pandemic and it's eerily relevant to today some of the stuff but uh, even with even the scenes with the chaos you still focus in on the characters it doesn't yeah. pull you away from them it feels like they're in the middle of it and mm-hmm. you're just watching them watch it happen but yeah i i really dug this um i think everyone should see it and yeah, I, I don't know, Chris. Uh, I don't know. It's really good. <laughs> you should watch it. <laughs> I believe you guys. I, I if it's better ruin your day, not... just watch it at the end of your day. Right before bed. Good yeah. dreams. But yeah, so I read the uh, description of this and I was like, oh no, I, I do not want to watch this kind of movie <laughs> because it really is just going to ruin my day. Um, so I started it. I was like, I'll, I'll try it. I'll, I'll just give it a try. Um, and then I, it was showing like the first scenes and the dialogue that comes up. She's like, oh, I should write this down. And I was like, nope, nope, I'm out. I am already out. I am not doing this. <laughs> if you can hang in there, though, it's worth the watch. It's, it's I, Yeah, I good. believe you guys. Yeah. But yeah. It's also like, I don't think we talked enough about the cinematography. It looks gorgeous. Oh, uh, absolutely. The, there was a scene that they go back to multiple times in it's like a pet store, but it's specifically in the aquarium part. And it's just so freaking good. And some of the things they do with lighting, specifically the representation of lights turning off, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. really I effective. Um, I knew you were going to bring that up. That was one of my favorite scenes. It was so, so yeah. well done. And it happens multiple times. Uh, I want to talk about it. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a spoiler alert. I don't think it is. Because we know what the movie's about, right? Yeah. So I'm not going to say I which characters. We, I think we can talk. PSA, everyone, small spoiler coming. So if you don't want to hear it, turn it off now. Yeah. By everyone, he means mom. Uh, Hi, mom. <laughs> but so basically what they did is when like certain characters lose their memory, but when stuff, when they lose it completely, like there'll be imagery of like, uh, two characters moments in an aquarium or whatever and it's like focused on them and they're looking at each other and the lights start going out one by one and it's it's really effective like, it doesn't yeah. really it doesn't really track with you just describing it but in yeah. the movie it it's powerful it's yeah. so good yeah well just the metaphor alone of that happening is a lot that's that seems really nice yeah and it's really subtle the way they do it too because it could definitely be heavy-handed but it only does it twice Hmm. but yeah so you want to do scores yeah i let me pull it up i gave it a 75 no you didn't what it you gave it a 78 78 sorry yeah and i gave it the dyslexic 87 uh so our number is n83 so go see it just watch it chris <laughs> just kidding <laughs> not to target anyone don't forget to watch it. I went to Target today. No one cares. Okay.